mask. Beset on all sides by idiots. Well, here's a bit of kick in the teeth. Uh, this is an altered flat rate priority box board game box. Uh, originally, it would have been about out to here. Anybody who watches my channel knows I ship lots and lots of items and altered flat rate board game boxes. You mark out all the barcodes, everything that says flat rate box, um, and then you ship it as, as regular priority mail. You can't ship it media mail. You can't ship it first class package. It has to go priority mail because it's a priority mail box. It doesn't have to go flat rate. Because according to their DMM, that's Domestic Mailing Manual, that's the Post Office Bible, basically, which is available online, and I have read, or sections of it anyway, especially this section, that says that if a priority flat rate box comes into the post office that has been altered in any way, it can no longer go as a flat rate box. It must ship priority mail by weight and zone well the mailing label that's on this box was correct it was the dimensions were correct the weight was correct everything was correct this is the United States Postal Service website right here this line Let's see if I can get you close enough if a flat rate envelope or flat rate box is presented at the office of mailing and the customer has manip manipulated or reconstructed it, the container is accepted using the weight and zone, not the flat rate price. A customer is not required to repackage an item unless the contents are fragile and would be at risk of damage during processing and transit. So, that's on their website right there. If you alter or manipulate or reconstruct a flat rate package, so it is no longer the same dimensions, then it would ship weight and zone, not the flat rate price. But, if your postal employee is a flipping moron and doesn't know the rules, then they can mark it return to sender, wrong postage, whatever, whatever they want to do. So, that's why I'm going to bag all my altered flat rate boxes from now on. The only thing that was incorrect is the person that sent it back to me from the post office. See, I dropped these off at the post office. If I hadn't dropped them off at the post office, if, if they had went to Memphis and the automatic mail sorter, this wouldn't have happened. But since a human was involved, then there's a chance for human error. And that's what happened here. And uh, the end of it, the, uh, I guess the, the final outcome, one could say, is that uh, my customer is going to get their package a day or two late. And I had to spend another, I forget what these big, big envelopes cost. But I think they're around 30 cents. Anyway, but uh, the, the bigger problem is that now I have to do every package this way to prevent this from occurring in the future, which is annoying. But... Uh, it's not a problem we can't work around. And before it happens to you, you might, if you ship uh, priority mailboxes that have been uh, spindled, stapled, or mutilated, you might want to start putting them in a bag. All right, well, I got to get up to the vet, get some more medicine for Bob, so uh, catch y'all later. Man Mountain Link, over and out. Well, I just got back from dropping the uh, package off at, at a different post office and it went with no problems. 
I used the exact same mailing label. I just took it off the box and put it on the bag. And like I said, no problems. The bag didn't weigh enough to have to increase the weight. So I, did, I saw no reason to re reprint the postage. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update in case you was wondering um, what happened when I got to the post office. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Man Mountain Link out. Man Mountain Link has once again totally outdone himself. <laughs>